Discover how this company lets you access a $750 credit line without a credit check. So is there a catch? In this video, I'll break down everything that you need to know about Kickoff. What's up winners? My name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk about things personal finance and credit. Start out by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. I have made a video about Kickoff before, but it had some updates. So it's only right that we make a video with all the current info. And I must tell you, Kickoff was already pretty good before, but it's way better now. So first, let's dive into what Kickoff has to offer. Kickoff is a fintech company that's based out of San Francisco that provides a revolving credit account, a credit build alone, and a credit plus cash card. We will cover each one so no stone is left unturned. Based on their website, Kickoff allows you to build credit with no credit pool, zero interest, and open an account within a few minutes, all starting at $5 per month. Sounds too good to be true, right? Upon further investigation, their website appears quite straightforward with no hidden catches or unexpected fees after signing up and creating an account. But let's discuss their credit account first. If approved, which most do, you will receive a $750 credit line. They also do have a premium service where you can get a $2,500 credit line with a monthly credit report from all three credit bureaus, but it will cost $20 a month. However, this type of credit line differs from traditional credit cards or secure cards as it only can be used to purchase products from Kickoff. Think of it like a retail credit card. If you have a Nordstrom card, you only can use that Nordstrom's. Kickoff operates kind of in a similar way. So this company targets people who are looking to build or rebuild the credit and is currently available in 49 states and covers about 99% of the US population. The only state that is not covered is Delaware. Now let's move on to the credit bureau loan. If you are unfamiliar of what a credit bureau loan is, in a nutshell, it is a type of loan that's specifically designed to help individuals with little to no credit history establish or improve their credit score. The primary purpose of this loan is to demonstrate responsible credit behavior and develop a positive credit history rather than borrowing money for immediate use. Now, the credit bureau loan is only an option you cannot get it right away off the bat. So once you decide to go for the $5 per month fee with kickoff for a year, that's when you can choose to get the credit builder loan. Just set up auto or manual transfers from your bank to put $10 each month into that loan. At the end of the year, kickoff hands you back the $120 that you put in. It's a pretty chill way to create a small emergency fund and boost your credit score a bit, especially if you're not great at saving that $10 yourself. Plus, that extra payment can bump up your credit score a few more points over the year. Now let's move on to the other product, which is the Credit Plus Cash Card. So if you were to arrange your paycheck to go into your kickoff account, this is where you can get their cash card, which is like a MasterCard that works like a debit card. You can only spend what's in your account. Plus you get access to your paychecks two days earlier than with a regular bank account. And hey, there's a sign up bonus. When you set up direct deposits with your new kickoff cash card, they put $200 in your account after three months of normal use. Here are some extra cool perks. If you deposit $50 or more, your monthly spending gets reported to all three credit bureaus, which will further build your credit. There's no sneaky fees or interest. You also earn cashback rewards at grocery stores, restaurants, and more. With direct deposit, you can overdraw up to $20 without fees, and this limit goes up the longer that you stay will kick off up to $200. Since you can only spend only what you have, like a debit card, there is no debt or missed payments. Now that you understand all of the things that Kickoff offers, let's discuss the application process. To open up a credit account, just sign up via their website or download their app in the App Store or Google Play Store. You can use my affiliate link down in the description to support the channel, but no pressure if you don't. The sign up process is simple. Just enter your email address, personal info, and social security number. Providing your social security number is necessary for reporting credit information to the credit bureaus as your credit report is linked to it. After entering your details, all you would have to do is wait for approval, which should only take a few seconds. Once approved, you're not done yet. To get kickoff to report to the credit bureaus, you will need to purchase an item from their store. Most products cost between $10 to $20, primarily focusing on personal finance, wellness, and other topics. After choosing an item, purchase it, link your bank account, and make monthly payments until it is paid off. For example, if you buy a $10 ebook, it will take five minutes to pay it off with a payment of $2. As long as you make on-time monthly payments, positive information will be reported to the credit bureaus. Despite being a revolving line of credit, Kickoff does not charge interest fees on outstanding balances, setting it apart from its competitors. Remember though, Kickoff does not charge interest or late fees, but if you are more than 30 days late on a payment, Kickoff can report your information as the link link. Once you start making payments, let's discuss when this information actually gets reported to the credit bureaus. According to Kickoff, it can take up to six weeks for it to show up on your credit report, depending on when in the month that you signed up. The reason behind this is that Kickoff reports everyone's payments at the end of every month. Then after that, it can usually take up to two weeks to be processed by the credit bureaus and added to your credit report. They also said that if you have multiple Kickoff products, like if you have the credit account, 
the Credit Builder, and the Credit Plus card, you can actually see multiple items on your credit report. So this is actually something that I really thought about since they do have separate credit products, but this is actually very beneficial to your credit since it adds diversity. Now that you know more about Kickoff and its offerings, let's go over some pros and cons. So as for the pros, the first one is that there's no credit check. Kickoff does not conduct a hard inquiry on your credit report during the application process, which means that your credit score won't be affected. The second pro is that it is an easy approval. Almost anyone can take advantage of Kickoff. Next is that there's no interest or fees, so you don't have to worry about interest charges or any hidden fees while using the Kickoff line of credit. Another pro is that they offer different types of credit lines, revolving and installment. And lastly, they report to all three credit bureaus. Consistent reporting to all major credit bureaus ensures that your credit score will benefit from your positive credit behavior. So now let's go over the cons. The first one is that there is a limited product selection. Kickoff's product offering is currently limited with most items costing between $10 to $20 but however, they do plan to expand the product lineup in the future. Another con is that they're not available in all states. So if you live in Delaware, then you're kind of out of luck. Another con is that there is restricted credit line use. The $750 credit line can only be used to purchase products off kickoff, limiting its versatility compared to other credit building options. The next con is the credit reporting. Even though it is a pro for kickoff to report to all three credit bureaus, you have to have a certain combination of products for it to report to all three. If not, it only reports to two. So before we wrap up, let's take a moment to compare Kickoff to some other popular credit building tools such as Kovo, Credit Strong, and a secure card. First, let's talk about the credit amounts. Kickoff provides a higher credit line of $750, whereas Kovo offers a lower loan amount of $240. This could be a deciding factor if you're looking to make large purchases to improve your credit utilization. Now, let's go over the credit reporting. Kickoff reports to all three major credit bureaus, but you have to have a combination of accounts to do so. Kovo, on the other hand, reports to all three regardless. If you want to have an impact on all three of your credit reports without getting extra accounts, Kovo might be a better choice for you. Now, let's talk about the use of funds. They are very similar. With Kickoff, you can only purchase products from their platform using an interest-free credit line. For Kovo credit, instead of a credit line, you get a loan to purchase online courses. Either way, the credit that is available to you can only be used on their platforms. Now, let's discuss the offerings. Kickoff has a credit account, credit builder loan, and a credit plus card. In terms of variety, Kickoff definitely does have an upper hand here. Kovo only has an installment loan. To build a diverse credit profile, it is best to have different types of accounts. Finally, in terms of costs, Kovo charges $10 per month, while Kickoff charges just $5 for the credit account. Kickoff also offers a credit builder loan for one year that would be $10 a month, which is a little bit more comparable to Kovo. But the key difference with that credit builder is that you do get that money back once you're done with that year. Now let's talk about how Kickoff compares to Credit Strong. The primary difference between Kickoff and Credit Strong is their approach to credit building. Credit Strong has a type of account called Revolve, which is the revolving line of credit that reports a minimum of $500 of a credit line to the credit bureaus. So the way this works is that Credit Strong essentially opens up a secured account in your name, but you don't have access to any of the funds. Once you have this account open, you do have an option to make monthly deposits onto a savings account, which will unlock a higher credit utilization rate and generate monthly payments reporting to the credit bureaus. If you were to choose a monthly savings amount, which Credit Strong refers to as commitments, you will get 100% of the funds that you contributed back when you closed your Revolve account. But this does not come free. There is an annual fee of $99, which seems more expensive than Kickoff, which starts at $5 per month, but Kickoff can be a little bit more expensive depending on the product that you decide to buy from their store. But if you were to break down $99 in 12 months, this will come down to $8.25. So this is not actually that far off from Kickoff. Another key difference between this type of account and Kickoffs is that it reports to all three credit bureaus rather than just two. So definitely Credit Strong does have the upper hand here. Credit Strong does have another product called Install, which is a little bit more like a traditional credit builder loan. For this, you can get at any time. With Kickoff, you have to get offered it. But with Kickoff, it is less expensive than Credit Strong's since you won't have to pay any interest or fees. Now let's compare this to a secure credit card since they are both revolving lines of credit. With Kickoff, you are given an interest-free $750 line of credit. You will make purchases in the Kickoff store and repay the balance without incurring interest. And your payment history is reported to all three credit bureaus if you get the credit bill alone too. A secure credit card, on the other hand, requires you to provide a cash deposit up front which serves as your credit limit. You would then use a card like a regular credit card, making purchases and paying off the balance. Most, if not all secure credit cards, report to all three credit bureaus. When it comes to costs, Kickoff does have a clear advantage as it does not charge any interest or fees. Secure credit cards can come with annual fees and interest charges if you don't pay the balance in full each month. Plus, there is a security deposit, which is more money upfront just to get started. However, 
secure credit cards do have one advantage over kickoff. Since they function like a regular credit card, you can use secure credit cards anywhere that it is accepted and has greater flexibility in your spending. Another consideration is the credit limit. While kickoff does offer a fixed $750 line of credit, the credit limit for a secure card is determined by your deposit. This means that you can potentially have a higher credit limit with a secure card if you are willing to provide a larger deposit. Finally, let's talk about upgrading. With a secure credit card, you may have the opportunity to upgrade to an unsecured card after demonstrating responsible credit usage. This can lead to better credit card options and rewards down the line. Kickoff, on the other hand, solely focuses on credit building and does not offer a clear upgrade path. So here are my final thoughts. Kickoff is an excellent option for those who are looking to build or rebuild a credit history without the hassle of interest charges, fees, or a credit check. It's easy approval process and consistent reporting to all three major credit bureaus, making it an attractive choice for many. Now, I wanna turn it over to you. What do you think about Kickoff? Let me know in the comments. If you wanna hang out with me some more and learn more about credit, check out these videos over here.